the site or domain of the protein using this you know, computer simulation. So this uh, spectroscopic analysis and mathematical you know, interpretation and computer simulation, three, you know, these are you know, three ways to uh, a prediction or you know, design can you know, guarantee you know, how this uh, nano uh, medicine is uh, really to improve your ph pharmacokinetic value or you know, delivery. So now let's move on to uh, uh, the application of this nanomedicine. So there are you know, many uh, applications behind this nanomedicine. The first target of the, our research was the, about the oral vaccine. Because you know, uh, some of you uh, are scared about the injection, syringe injection. Uh, but the vaccination is a you know, government kind of the, you know, guideline or the policy. So it's kind of mandatory thing. So uh, sometimes you know, all of you have to, must, you know, get this you know, shot from the, you know, uh, the near the, the hospital. But many of you are scared about this syringe injection. So okay, let's, you know, make, you know, the oral vaccine using our nanomedicine uh, technology. So my graduate student, Jiao Yong Li, uh, is a Chinese, you know, student. So she uh, prepared, she formulated, you know, this vaccine. Uh, protein uh, together with oligosaccharides like you know ketotan and arginate, and then finally you know she you know formulate the make uh, the nano size you know, vaccine. So this vaccine is also uh, 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 manufactured through the, the kind of continuous uh, the process of the uh, anti solvent displacement or the precipitation method, and then this you know nano particle. Nano uh, complexation is has uh, the intelligent things. What is the intelligent things? Is that they are pH responsive. So when they are met in kind of acidic condition, so they don't release. They don't release their the drug, or they don't release their protein. Uh, so rather than this releasement, they have a kind of shrink or the compact, you know, the property when they are acidic condition. But when they meet, uh, you know. Uh, the neutral condition, like in our intestine, they release their drugs. So this release the drugs can bound to the your the intestine, and then this you know drug can be you know penetrated into the your circulation system, and then they have the effectiveness in your body. So this in the pH responsive you know intelligent you know nano complex uh, is really helpful for the oral vaccine the formulation. So this one is so we are making kind of tablet form of the, this oral vaccine. So in the mi microscopic view, you know this tablet vaccine can be pH responsive. So when you look at here, so the, this tablet can is not you know the release or the breakdown when they are in you know the acidic condition, but only you know the breakdown in the neutral condition. Okay, so this when you are taking this you know tablet, so this tablet can be. You know, delivered into the intestine with you know safe and with you know uh, stable their condition. So uh, using, uh, I mean, we are feeding uh, this nanomedicine uh, to the mouse models. So this, uh, uh, what is the, the vaccine? Is the H1N1 uh, vaccine. Uh, so we uh, could find you know. There is really the improvement of the uh, vaccination or immunization of the mouse model. So this picture also indicates that this uh, nanocomplexation only you know released in the intestine. Okay. And then when you look at the IgG level and IgA level, the blood of the mouse, uh, you could find and that this oral vaccine can increase this you know uh, immunoglobulin the level. And then when you look at the lung T cells and lung B cells, because the H1 anon actually target program is the lung. So when you look at the here, uh, so T cells and B cells are improved and increased by taking or just oral vaccine. And then when you look at the you know, virus titer, so because you know what is the vaccine? Vaccine kills the virus. So when you look at the, the virus titer, so this is our the nano vaccine. Nano oral vaccine efficiently kill the virus uh, in the lung. Uh, so let's move on to the second issue of the innovation in the drug discovery and in, uh, development. 
the big data and the AI, how we can make the big data. So, okay, yes, so cell culture system can generate the big data because there are a bunch of cells in your the culture vessel, vessels, like a culture plus or petri dishes. But how about the in vivo? So mouse, or the rabbit, or the, you know, the beagle, how we can generate the big data? Actually, it, it is it's not possible, it's impossible. So no big data, but no AI, no artificial intelligence, right? So we have to generate, we have to produce the in vivo big data from our preclinical or non-clinical you know, tests. So uh, we employ, you know, uh, C. elegans, uh, it's a soil nematode, uh, C. elegans as an animal alternative, you know, the model system. Well, C. elegans is also model, but uh, so the, this C. elegans animal uh, can be free from the, this uh, animal uh, issues. So many, you know, the uh, countries like the United States and the European countries nowadays, they uh, don't use the, this, you know, higher animals like a mouse and then rabbit for their the non-clinical or the preclinical test. Uh, in future, the many researchers uh, uh, expect that this, you know, animal test is kind of the trade issues, trade concerns. So we have uh, employed this, you know, Celegans model. So there are, you know, the many advances in these models. For example, this, you know, Celegans has, uh, you know, 80% homologs with genes with, together with, with the human uh, homo sapiens. And then it has uh, the many, you know, uh, the publication means that it has a really strong and scientific background. Uh, and then this body is transferred. So we could you know, monitor, we can monitor the drug delivery or the efficacy or the safety, any kinds of you know the physiological changes or phenotypes, uh, just in a real time uh, under the microscope. Uh, and so there are eight you know Nobel prizes you know uh, scientists uh, using this cell model organism from 2002 and 2006 and 2008, and this year. These two guys, Gary Rubikun and uh, Victor Ambrose, they are also you know, Celegan scientists. And then they actually discovered uh, microRNA, but this microRNA is from the uh, Celegan model organism. So if you, know, if you are you know, working with the Celegans in future, you guys can uh, receive the Nobel uh, Prize in future. So uh, compared with you know, many other organisms like the uh, cell culture and organoid or organoid chip and mouse model, the Celegan has many advantages in terms of the cost and standardization and then a disease model and then big data you know, generation. So using this you know, Celegan uh, model organism, so many global big farms you know, try to uh, discover the novel drugs or the test you know, there are the candidate molecule. For example, you know, there's the antitrypsin deficiency drug. So, uh, uh, the, the global farm, you know, uh, found that the 44, uh, the gene therapy, uh, the therapeutics, and then they finally, you know, uh, select one gene therapy model, and then these are, you know, heading to the uh, clinical trial. And then the other story is about the uh, Lugarek disease. So uh, there are a bunch of the candidates for the example the 3,850. So how we can you know screen this you know 3,000? It's about 4,000 molecule using the mouse. It's not possible, but Celegan is possible. So you can you know screen. You can you know discover your most strong candidate molecule in vivo from the in vivo using this Celegan. The system. So, what is our target disease model? So, we are you know, focusing on the Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease. In this time, so I'm talking about the Parkinson's disease uh, because you know the Celegan has a really good the neuronal you know, system, the neural system. In the head area, there's a dopamine neurons like this. 
So using this, you know, transparent body and the dopamine neuron, we could, you know, uh, find you know, a really good uh, Parkinson's disease therapy. And then there are, you know, many candidates, for example, the plant extract or the chemical compounds, but we are focusing on the microbiome therapy. Because, you know, Cerelegans model has a the similar, the human, the similar to human, the digestion system. So, so when you taking this, you know, put the, this the microorganism uh, uh, in the cellular body, they can you know, colonize in the intestine, and then they can change, you know, microbiome in the intestine of their body. So using this advantage, so we screen, uh, you know, the microbiome therapeutics are targeted for the Parkinson's disease. We actually have, you know, over a thousand in you know, the microbiome uh, cell libraries. Among these, you know, 1,000 things. So we uh, screen, you know, the microorganism to produce the levodopa. So levodopa is a precursor of the dopamine. So only this levodopa can penetrate into the BBD, the uh, blood brain barrier. And then, uh, so this microorganism, you know, the probiotics, can uh, you know, have the healthy you know, dopamine neuron. So we could you know, monitor the dopamine neuron of the cellulans uh, after you know, the feeding this microorganism. And then we could find really good the microorganism can help dopamine neurons. And then this you know, model, the system is uh, a transparent body. Of course, we could you know, cut the, this body and then look at the intestine under the you know, electron microscope. So, and then you can find you know, there is a very good the colonization of the microbial cells we fed. So, uh, we, we, we could you know, select you know, the, uh, the microorganism really good producing of the L dopa, is a precursor of the you know, dopamine. And this L dopa can penetrate into the BBD area. So, that's very important. And then there's another, you know, uh, uh, method to uh, develop uh, the drug. So it's uh, evol uh, the laboratory evolutionary mutagenesis. So it means that so our cells, the uh, so native cells, uh, have a hard uh, time or the hard condition when they are with uh, our intestinal body or the you know, strange you know, microbiome, uh, uh, microenvironmental system. So we, you know, uh, adapted this microorganism in our human body or strained in our microenvironmental system. So, for example, we, you know, harsh, we put, uh, push this you know, microorganism in the um, level of production microenvironmental system, and then they can increase this, you know, uh, conversion of the uh, l tyrosine to level of or, you know, uh, block the uh, dopamine conversion. So anyway, this uh, uh, we you know, made you know a Cielegans, uh, model system for the Parkinson disease. For example, the Parkinson disease is Cielegans using just a single gene mutation, uh, and then look at the, the dopamine neuron. So when these you know uh, Cielegans uh, suffering this Parkinson's disease, the dopamine neurons you know, inactivate, or dopamine neurons you know are killed or you know dead. So when you look at the, this, you know, Cerelegans head area, uh, there is a very healthy dopamine neuron in the body, in the head. So by taking this, our uh, candidate in microbiome therapy. And then, uh, so most important thing is how is the mechanism behind this, you know, therapeutics. So there is a kind of uh, genetic regulation uh, after feeding this, uh, you know, microbiome therapy. So we uh, illuminate this uh, genetic regulation pathway uh, using the single gene one mutation. So let's uh, come back to the, our you know, kind of uh, insight. So there are two cures in nano and AI or the big data. Uh, using our cellular model organism and the nano formulation technology, uh, we could get the innovations in the uh, drug discovery and development especially in the uh, preclinical system. So now I, I'm, uh, I hope in you know, a collaboration between you and I, uh, how we can collaboration if you have a really good candidate molecule on TCM.
So please, you know, contact us so we can make, you know, the nano formulation of your uh, drug or we can screen your, you know, uh, TCM using the uh, cell dance and automation system, cell dance, you know, artificial intelligence system. Okay, this is the third time to visit the uh, Tianjin at this university. So there is a world in Guanxi. So I really want to, I would love to uh, keep the, my Guanxi uh, together with uh, uh, Tianjin University and the Chinese friend. Okay, thank you.